Hello YouTube. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make um, MIDI files for my MIDI stepper synth. Um, and the reason why I am doing this actually is because I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys this and in case someone else wants to make a MIDI file for me to play on the stepper synth for my weekly uploads or my attempted weekly uploads. So if you ever want to make your own um, custom file and send it to me, um, follow this tutorial and this is, uh, and I will, if it sounds good or, um, I, I'll try to um, get it uploaded. Can't make any promises, but of course, if you do follow it and it's good, I, I'll, I'll upload it. Um, so the main software I use, I use two pieces of software for my stepper synth. First one is MuseScore. It's free and open source um, music notation software. Uh, um, and... Uh, the other program I use is something called Notation Player 4. Um, if you just look that up, um, there is a download for it, and you can get it for Mac, Ubuntu, and and uh, PC. So it works on all of them. You really don't need that software if you're just making the MIDI file, because unless you own, unless you make a duplicate of it. Which, by the way, it's open source. So if you want to make make your own stepper synth, feel free. Go ahead. It's all on GitHub and everything. I keep a um, I do have instruct um, the full all the source code, how I built the thing, every single thought that I went into it, how the thing works. Um, it's all in the um, it's all in the video description of every single um of every single cover song I do. As well as a link to the Muse score file that um, I um, use as a reference. So I've went ahead and already downloaded one. Um, and I've opened it up in Muse score. It's Big Shot from Delta Rune Chapter Two, which just came out a couple, like a week or two ago, so um, not that many to work with. I did have another one, but it, the um, recording messed up. So um, in MuseScore, my main thing that I do, um, the trick is something known as the Explode tool. If you look in Tools, there's this little thing called Explode. What that does is it takes a chord, which if you don't know what a chord is, a chord is two notes being played at the same time. So this is, this is a chord. This is not a chord. This is not a chord. So my stepper synth can only play one note at a time, or each channel. There's eight channels of the stepper synth. Only it can only each channel can only play one note at a time. So if I was to send this the stepper synth, it would just randomly choose. It would be whichever one comes later that it would choose. So what I have to do is I have to modify this MIDI this um, recording so that it works on it. So um, I, what I've done is I've actually added given them the explode tool its own keyboard shortcut which you can do by going over to the preferences and then going into the shortcut section you can assign a uh, custom shortcut and I've done control I think that's backslash are you wrong it might be forward slash get them back I get them mixed up but um, I go into continuous view and I go over and I press the I key which gives me instruments if I type in brass add brass synthesizer and then I'm going to add eight of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bass clef so, I'm only, so that I only have one, um, one staff. And then I make sure that I've got a few at the bottom that are only bass. So now I've got eight, I've got eight of these, so C4. So I accidentally added an extra. My bad. That happens. Okay, so what I've done, what I'll do is I will play a part. So right here is the first part. And I like to break these up into sections. You don't have to do it this way, but this is how I do it. Um, okay, so we've noticed that we got, got our bass line here. So. so what I'll do is I'll select this, which I'm just using Control and Shift to um, highlight this. And then I'm going to cut. And I'm going to paste it down here. And then I'm going to use Explode to break it up in two parts. And then I'm going to repeat that. So... We can see that that is um, the, the melody. And then I'll go over here, and since it's the main melody, I'm going to stick it right here. 
Okay, and then you can see it switches over to two chords over here. So I'm going to turn those into, I'm going to explode those two. And then I'm going to go up here, okay, and then we've got another. So that's a uh, counter melody. So I'm going to put that wherever the next blank staff is, which is right here. And then I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to select this. I'm going to stick it right here. Like that. Okay, so that's basically what I do. I just do that for the whole song. Um, the only other thing I'm going to point out here is that there's these things. These are dynamics for the non-music non -music people. Um, these are called dynamics. Um, in uh, MIDI terms, we would call this velocity. And I've got it set up. So if you've noticed, there are, like I said, there's eight channels. And each of them have four volume levels. One stepper motor, two stepper motors, three stepper motors, or four stepper motors. Um, and zero is off, of course. So that makes 32 stepper motors. Uh, so I've the um, velocity value can be anywhere from zero to 127 in the MIDI the MIDI standard. Um, and I've written down here. Um, and depending on how many motor how many motors you want to turn, the you make it louder basically if you want to have more motors. Um, so if you want to have only one motor spin, you use pianissimo, which is three Ps. Um, if you want two motors, use pianissimo or piano. If you want to have three stepper motors, do mezzo piano or mezzo forte. If you want to do um, all four stepper motors, do forte, forte, fortissimo, or fortissimo. So one F, two F, or three Fs. And um, I will have a little, the text will show up and they'll show you what they are. Uh, and that should help you. Of course, you can also manually assign it, so I also have that in there too. So I'm basically going to um, do this. Uh, I'll do that for the rest of this song, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the last thing I did before I added this is I go in and I remove all the extra instruments at the top, so I only have this left. Pretty easy, you just go into I and you know you click on these and remove. Pretty simple. Um, then one last thing I do is I go over and if you go to view, there's a thing called the mixer or F10. So I'm gonna open that up, the mixer. Like that. And so I want it to be port one for all of these. I want channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll speed through that real quick. Like that. So once we've done that, we go over here, we go with file, hit export, we set it to MIDI, hit export, and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna call it Big Shot Stepper V2, and I'm gonna change it to mid. And I have a MIDI file. So that's pretty pretty, pretty much how I do it. Um, have any questions about the specifics about this? Um, Feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Um, and with that, um, thank you for watching. And of course, if you have a one, please feel free to contact me on Instagram if you have a MIDI file you want me to check out or try playing on the Stepper Synth. If it's really good, I'll add it to the. Um, I'll, I'll I'll feature in a video.